Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find the values of different distance measures like simple matching coefficient, Jacquard coefficient and Hamming distance with the help of simple solved example. These are the two objects given to us. The first object is X and second object is Y here. Each of these particular objects contains 10 elements in this case. So given these particular objects, we need to find the values for those particular distance measures. Now x is equal to this and y is equal to this. To calculate the simple matching coefficient that is SMC, we need to calculate the value of F01. This 0 represents the value from x and this 1 represents the value from y here. The meaning is we are expecting 0 in x and 1 is y over here. So if we have that particular combination, we will count it. Otherwise, we don't count in this case. So if you look at here, this is the uh, first combination where we have 0 in x and 1 in y here. Similarly, in this case, 0 in x, 1 in y. So we have two combination. That's the reason we have written 2 in this case. Coming back to the second uh, variable, that is f10. The meaning of this one is x should be 1 and y should be equal to 0 here. So we have only one combination. This is the one. That's the reason I have written one here. If you go with the next one, that is uh, F00, zero should be present in X and zero should be present in Y. We have seven combinations. You can notice here, this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, six and seven. So totally seven combinations are there. Coming back to the last combination, that is F11. There should be one in the x and 1 in the y. We don't have any combination here. So that's the reason we have written 0 here. Now once you calculate the values of these particular variables, we can easily calculate the value of a simple matching coefficient with the help of this equation. SMC is equal to F00 plus F11 divided by F01 plus F10 plus F00 plus F11 here. We have already calculated all these values. We will put it in this equation we will get the value of SMC as 0.7 here. Now we will discuss how to calculate the Jacquard coefficient. Again, if you want to calculate the value of Jacquard coefficient, we need to know the values of all these four variables. We have already calculated, so we don't calculate it again. The Jacquard coefficient is always equal to F11 divided by F01 plus F10 plus F11 here. We know all these particular values. We will put in this equation and final Jacquard coefficient is equal to 0 in this case. Coming back to the last distance measure, that is the Hamming distance. The Hamming distance between these two objects is calculated using this formula. dx, y is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 till n, where n is the number of elements in each of these particular objects. If you count these particular number of elements, we have 10 here. So the value of n is equal to 10 in this case. Cardinality of xi minus yi. So I will go from 1 to 10 in this case. So in the first case, the combination will be 1 minus 0, that is cardinality of 1 minus 0, plus 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0, and so on. Once you write that particular thing for all combinations, we will get these values from here to here, here. Now, once you uh, solve this particular equation, we will get the value as 3 here. Because it's a cardinality value, 0 minus 1 is equal to 1, 0 minus 1 is equal to 1, 1 minus 0 is also equal to 1 here. So the final value of uh, Hamming distance is 3 for the given two objects. So in this uh, video, I have discussed how can we calculate the values for different uh, distance measures like simple matching coefficient, Jacquard coefficient and Hamming distance for the given two objects. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.